What's going on team? I am gonna go over a day of eating during bulking season. What's going on guys? Malik. Welcome Malik. to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Manoon and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm gonna give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. What's going on team? It is Saturday, December 5th, 2020, and I am gonna go over a day of eating during bulking season. I know a lot of you guys see my posts and my stories about what I eat, but I wanted to kind of go through a whole video and show you what I eat from the beginning of my day to the end. So usually I wake up, take a shower, First thing I do, um, if I don't work out, I try to get a workout in. It's not every day where I get a workout in right in the morning. But first thing I do is SUPS. Now, if you've been following me for a little bit, you already know what SUPS I probably take. But my main three, I take a multivitamin, I take a fish oil. Those two supplements alone, I recommend probably 80 to 90% of you take. You know, if you're already eating your, um, you know, vegetables or having a lot of micronutrients in your diet in whole foods, maybe not. But if you're not and you're lacking in the micronutrients in your diet, I highly recommend a multivitamin. Fish oils are good. If you have joint pain, um, you know, it's good for your cardiovascular health. Fish oil is good for everybody. Not a lot of us get in our diet, especially in the American diet, are good omega-3 fatty acids. So those two I recommend a lot. And then the third, the third supplement I take is a, um, a glutamine, a branched chain amino acid. I only take the L-glutamine when I am, um, and I'll show you guys which one I take. I only take this when I am working out or I'm doing a, you know, a hard program or I feel like I need you know, a little bit more recovery in my system. But this is the one I take, glutamine from Body Tech, get it at the vitamin shop. And it just basically helps me with recovery. Uh, Anti-catabolic recovery agent. I take it in the morning. Um, if I'm working out super hard, again, on a leg day or something, maybe I'll take it after my workout. But again, today I try to get my workouts in in the morning. I got a good workout in and I'll show you guys. I filmed it. It was one of the mind-body performance workouts and uh, you can just do it on your phone. So I did that. Multivitamin. Fish oil and then branch chain amino acid, glutamine. So that's my morning sups. Now because all this, uh, you know, COVID and immune system health and flu season, I sometimes will pop one of these in the morning. A little emergency, you know? Sometimes I'll pop a little emergency in the morning. Can't forget the cup of joe. You can't forget the cup of joe. I don't put any sugar in it or anything, just half and half. And if anything, that's usually what I do before my workout. And then after my workout is when the munching happens. So that's what we're gonna go over right now is the food. Now, this is bulking season, so this isn't all the time that I do this, but during bulking season, I try to start off with a smoothie, a protein smoothie, and Right now I'm using mixed berries. Sometimes I'll get the full pack, but I usually get the full pack. Now I got strawberry banana and I got blueberry. The thing about the mixed berries is that the banana doesn't come with it. And I like bananas in my smoothies. So I got the banana one. So what I do is I get my Nutribullet out. If you don't got a Nutribullet, highly recommend. Very convenient and it's Christmas time. it make a wonderful gift for your fitness journey. So, uh, the Nutribullet, what I do is just get a little bit of, I can open these things. Oh, perfect. There's two left in there, just throw them in. Just throw them in. Balling, missed. Um, gotta have a little fun with it, guys. Put a little blueberries in there, put a little blueberries. So that's how many berries I put in there, if you guys can see that about half of it. And then, this is my little secret to make this taste good. Now, I'm not saying this is very healthy, but for me, I like to put a little half and half. You know, it gives it that little, 
That little thickness instead of just the water. Now it could be a little trick, I, I don't know if I figured that out, but it makes it a little bit tastier. So up next, I add the protein. Two scoops. I use muscle milk, just get it at Safeway, my local grocery store. Muscle milk, just average vanilla. Nothing too crazy there. And then I'll finish it off with some cold water just to kind of make it so it's not too thick. And we like thick, but not too thick. So get that right there, spin the top, and then start blending. Next thing I do is I get cage-free eggs for these babies, stir them up, mix them up, and then I add a little bit of, oh yeah, that classic, classic breakfast sausage. Uh, so I put four of these in. Again, this is bulking season. I might not have these during cutting season, but during bulking season, it's okay. And then what I do usually is I, I cook them until they're brown. So this is a little trick that my brother taught me. Again, he is a chef. Uh, is when you cook your breakfast sausages, cook them, you know, like, until they're brown or until they get a little crispy on the outside and then right when they get there, dash a little water in there so I can continue to cook up the inside without burning it. Because who likes burnt sausages? I mean, you know, maybe slightly, but not too burnt. And then I scramble some eggs. With that, I have two little Yoplait yogurts. Today I got a blueberry flavor, but I got two Yoplait yogurts. Um, that's what I have for breakfast as well. And that is my breakfast. So I will calculate on my phone. I don't have it with me right now, or I do, but I'm not gonna do it. While this is recording, I'll show you a screenshot right here. And I have the smoothie, protein smoothie. I got my eggs, I got my sausage, and I got my Yoplait. Sometimes if I don't have the Yoplait, I'll have sourdough bread. Today I'm not having the sourdough bread. I'm just having uh, the yo place, but that this will be my carbs. But today, the yo place is gonna be my carbs. That's my breakfast, and let's go on to the next section, which will be for lunch. See you guys next clip. All right, guys, welcome to dinner. This is my meal number two. Uh, during the day, I do have a little bit of snacks, but mainly for me to consume as many calories as I do. For me, it helps if I just eat two meals, three meals, but they're big. Um, for me, I can't really snack 600 calories here, 500 calories here to complete the 4,000 calorie day. For me, it's easier if I have like a 1,700 calorie breakfast, a 1,700 calorie dinner, and then maybe like a, another 1,000 calorie or something, you know, or split that in snacks. So for me, I have big meals. This is dinner. We're gonna have some rice. We're gonna have some white rice, and we're gonna have some chicken. The chicken I got from Trader Joe's. Many of you guys probably see this, grilled chicken. Uh, I like this because you don't have to cook it, it just comes in grilled strips. And then what I do is I cook the rice in the rice cooker, because I'm not a chef over here. I get a little rice cooker, throw it in there. 30 minutes later, rice is done. Bada bing, bada boom. Get it nice and fill the bottom up. And you just double it. That might have been a little too much water. So a little bit more rice. A little more rice. A little more rice don't hurt nobody. So while that cooks, I'll let you guys go. Pretty much while this cooks, all I put in there is like a little salt. Just to marinate it up a little bit. A little pink Himalayan salt. A lot of pink Himalayan salt. And a dash of pepper. It's not coming out. There we go. And a little bit of garlic powder. It's usually what I put on most of my stuff season wise, just salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, sometimes some onion powder. Stir that baby up. We all like a nice stir. So we'll wait. We'll press this cook button. That'll be done in about 30 minutes, and once I'm done with that, I'll throw it in the pan or the pot, um, cook it up, heat up with some cooked chicken, and that will be my meal of the day. I'll also have some brie cheese and crackers, I'll show you guys later as my snack. But um, that should conclude my calories for the day. I'll show you a screenshot right here of my MyFitnessPal. That's why I record my meals. Highly recommend you too. And guys, remember, be consistent in your actions. 
because consistency is key. See you next video. We're gonna have some white rice. Also, during this time, if you're feeling a little snick, snick, if you're feeling a little sick, <laughs>